South Korea takes a hard stance on scandals involving celebrities. If a public figure is caught up in a serious scandal, they can expect to be banned from TV. This is especially true for KBS, one of Korea's biggest broadcasting stations, known for its popular K-dramas. Every year, KBS bans actors, with the most common reason being drunk driving incidents. While some DUI cases are minor, others end in disaster. One such actor is Kwok Do Wan. In 2022, he drove about 10 kilometers while drunk, eventually falling asleep behind the wheel at a traffic light. His license was revoked, and he was banned from KBS. Additionally, the Ministry of Culture, Sports, and Tourism demanded he repay money earned from a government-funded ad. BAE Sung Woo, seen in the Netflix drama The H Show, faced a similar fate. After a DUI incident in 2020, he was banned from both KBS and NBC. He paid a fine and disappeared from the screen for a while, only making a comeback in 2023 with the movie Boston 1947. The most infamous DUI case is Kim Si Rans. Once Korea's sweetheart, her image shattered in 2022 after a disastrous drunk driving accident. She crashed into an electrical transformer, causing a neighborhood blackout and major disruptions. CCTV footage of her attempting to flee the scene triggered public outrage. She was banned from KBS and unofficially blacklisted by many in the industry. Substance abuse is another serious issue. Numerous actors have been banned from KBS for involvement with illegal substances. Yoon Sul Hee, Park Shie Yeon, Lee Song Yeon, Jang Mi Ne, and Go Ho Kyung are a few examples. Go Ho Kyung was one of the first female actresses banned in 2006, and Yoon Sul Hee faced similar consequences in 2009 for smuggling substances from Japan. Actor Ju Ji Hoon was also caught in a substance scandal in 2009 but managed to rehabilitate his image, starring in popular dramas like Kingdom. His bans were lifted by NBC in 2013 and KBS in 2019. KBS bans actors for more severe offenses as well. Um, Taewong was banned after being found guilty of using illegal adult services, despite being cleared of inappropriate conduct accusations. Lee Kyung Young was banned for exploiting an underage actress in 2002. Despite initial bans by all major channels, he continues to appear in dramas after NBC and SBS lifted their bans. Kang Ji-won faced a ban after harming two female staff members in 2019. He received a light sentence but was banned by all TV stations in Korea. In May this year, Squid Game actor Oh Young-soo was banned from KBS after being found guilty of non-consensual touching. Given his age, it's unlikely he planned to continue his acting career. South Korea's entertainment industry has no tolerance for scandals, and actors involved in controversies face severe consequences often finding their careers in ruins.